Hello again dandies, mm -hmm. welcome to another of these hopefully short videos starring myself and the cutie. Mm -hmm. um, oh, as, you know, oh. as you know, in the last video we tackled uh, CVs and resumes. Mm -hmm. Of course, as, as we mentioned, that's mainly for those that are applying potentially through sending their CV to a placement or going through an agency. Mm -hmm. But if you are from the 48 countries listed by WHO, then the best way to come over in the UK as a UK nurse or as an allied healthcare professional is to apply through truck jobs. And what is truck jobs? The only way you can do it. Wow! <laughs> it's so brevity, <laughs> so brief and concise. Of course, and don't cool. be repetitive. Cool. So yes, so this is mainly for those that either have to apply directly for example, those in the WHO developing countries list, mm -hmm. or for those that prefer to apply directly, which could be any nurse anywhere in the world, with the exception of those living in the Philippines, where, of course, you have to go through a government-approved recruiter. Mm -hmm. But we digress. So track, track jobs, basically, it's not just healthcare. Yes. It covers recruitment for everything however the bit you want is the healthcare part your nursing and midwifery yes well if you also want if you're like a radiologist a physiotherapist, therapist mm -hmm. occupational therapist you can apply through truck jobs absolutely it's all Allied the healthcare professionals yes the entire spectrum mm -hmm. but it can be a bit daunting so here's the basic way of setting it up so it'll save you a lot of time and it, mm -hmm. honestly it's something i didn't really know and i've done track jobs multiple times were you uh, shortlisted yeah i was that's oh. why i work in the nhs oh wow <laughs> cool we have to do it too yes because that's the way that it works especially for the nhs you have to use track jobs mm -hmm. um so the first thing you have to do is to register mm -hmm. register an account you know, you'll probably need an email address, set up a password, or you know how that works nowadays. Mm -hmm. And then you've got to make your account, make your profile. Yes, which covers your personal details, email address, of course, they need to contact you once you're shortlisted, and your phone number. Mm -hmm. Don't forget, air, you know, country codes, because of course, mm -hmm. if an English recruiter has your mobile number 09 blah blah blah, they need to know what country. Yes, definitely. Trust me. And of course, don't forget to put your name. Mm -hmm. We shouldn't need to mention that, but just make sure it's filled in. Okay. And then um, the next part is the big part, which is the online CV. Now, it's similar in the way that you do a normal CV, except mm -hmm. instead of just going, here's a text document, you have to fill in their specific sections. Mm -hmm. And you have to make sure that it is done as fully as possible. Yes. Because every details you put in there gives you a certain point. Because mm. it's a point system. You have to fill it up. Your qualifications, your bachelor's degree, your trainings, your... What else? <laughs> uh, you've got any other seminars you've attended. Professional registrations. Registrations. Yeah. Um, supporting documents. Yes. Anything like that. The more you can actually put into it and the more information you can give, the more points you essentially get, which means mm -hmm. the more chances you have of being sort of put near the front of the queue. Mm -hmm. Kind of like YouTube. You know, the more views you get, the more subscribers you get, the more chance you've got of appearing on the on the homepage. Yes, and the beauty of truck jobs is if you have other trainings, you just need to add it up. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we're, we've got it down here as well. This is, although we can't show it because, of course, this is all cutest information and mm -hmm. you don't want to see any of that. Um, so the base things it's split into, once you've done your personal stuff, is um, starting with qualification. Now, they want, they're, they're, it is split up, but you've got education and professional qualifications. Like what we've mentioned, don't be repetitive. <laughs> yeah. These are the ones... That you'll usually get a certificate, document, or something like that at the end to go, yes, they have done this. Educational and professional qualifications 
your bachelor's degree. Yes. When you have attended your university or college, yeah. um, your qualifications when you have your secondary mm -hmm. as well. And then we come to training and courses that you have attended. So training courses attended. Often you might get a certificate that goes, yeah, I've attended this. Mm -hmm. You might not. But this is just to say, what are the things you've done? As much as possible, write the most significant ones. Mm. Like as a nurse, as nurses, of course, you do your PLS training, um, ILS training, your um, blood training, your, what else? Uh, your health. AIMS training or your acute immediate um life support training whatever all the trainings yeah that's relevant yeah. then of course you got professional uh, registration for example if you are a filipina uh, licensed mm -hmm. nurse then um, yeah you need to put your put registration your, number in put there. your home country nurse registration pin if your country has yeah. them i'd imagine most do uh, it's also things if you're part of a union yep especially if you're already living in the uk because of course this is uk as well mm -hmm. Make sure you put it in there. They need to know. And then we move on to employment. Now, this is going to take you ages because they want employment history. They want all of your employment history. Hmm? Well, as much as you, you can give. So it starts with your most recent one or what you're doing right now and then goes back. Mm -hmm. The next part of that is gaps in employment. You make sure that you have documented all of the dates mm -hmm. and if there are any any gaps between the dates you mention it there as to why so it could be that you you finished one job in march you went for a month holiday and come back in may but they need to know that because they'll go all right well, what were you doing in april you need to you need to write that in because they they want to know and of course the nhs service if for example you have already been working in the uk as a nurse you have to write in there that mm. you have already worked in the NHS. So this is not only for people internationally. Mm -hmm. If you are already working in the UK as a nurse, yeah. this is the best way to search for jobs. Oh. Uh, then we get on to the next big wordy bit. The chunky ones. The chunky. For me, it's the most um, daunting one. Mm where you have to exert a lot of effort, where you have to think a lot, where you have to waffle, where literally you have to be too talkative in writing. But while also keeping it concise to the point and not waffling. Mm -hmm. Waffle, but don't waffle. <laughs> but this is your supporting information. Yeah. This is where you're doing your personal statements. That's when you're talking about you as a person, what skills you can bring to the table. Give examples, please. Mm -hmm. You know, what makes you... Good for the role, essentially. Mm -hmm. The best tip that we can give you while writing this supporting document is to read your job description. Oh. You have to make sure that you read the bulleted points, all right? Bless and it. make sure that you understand, like, um, the six C's and, you know, the six C's. Oh, off the top of my head, no, but I could probably waste a minute and a half trying to figure them out. Care, Care, communication, commi yeah, communication, commitment, commitment compassion, mm -hmm. courage, courage, and well, it's the six C's. It's the, it's number six. Yeah, you have to make sure that you <laughs> write it all down in your truck jobs application, <laughs> making an example of each. <laughs> yes, all right, absolutely. And of course, this is only you mm -hmm. know this this CV. What it does is it's generalized, but you can then take this into any job you apply for using this site mm -hmm. and then just tinker the CV a bit to make it suitable for your role. Yes. Because this is a generalized CV. Mm -hmm. So if you're applying as a as a ward nurse and you, you've got that CV, you can just go, right, these are the extra points they want to know. I'll just add it into supporting documents. Mm -hmm. But this was a, a basic quick guide on how to set up your track jobs and how to make it easier for yourself when applying. There will be a due date for the application. So make sure that when you apply through Truck Jobs, click the submit thing, okay? <laughs> make sure that you have submitted it. Yes. What's the point of working too hard through all these details when you haven't submitted it? Absolutely. And if you do have any more questions or just need a bit of guidance and some tips, 
Don't forget to comment on this video. Don't forget to join the Brave in Britain Facebook group and hit us up. We're there. We have people from NHS recruitment in there. We have agencies in there. There's lots of people that can help, including nurses that have done it. Yes. So don't be afraid. And maybe next time we can give you, well, we can share a video about interview tips if you are shortlisted. And at the same time, some tips as well if you get hired or unluckily you're unsuccessful. Because at the end of the day, it's not the end of the world, okay? As long as there's opportunity, crack on. Okay? Absolutely. So we will see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye.